So not a damn thing today went as planned. But you know what? Shit doesn't always go your way, and you gotta deal with it. Because that's what this fucking game called Life is all about. So, I played a game of life today. Um, I fucking lost. And so I decided to change it up. And today, I'm going to have a fucking cooking with Trent day. So, I'm going to show you guys how to make um, Oh, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make, uh, uh, um, Swiss chicken sandwich bites. Swiss, delicious Swiss chicken sandwich bites. And that's what the fuck we're making tonight. And it's gonna be fucking delicious and it's really easy. So let's get this fucking party started. Alright, the first thing you want to do is grab a fucking pan. It's kind of hot, it's been on the stove, okay? Grab a pan that's cold, alright? Put it in your hand, stick it on your stove top, like so, and then make it hot. So turn it to hot. I promise you, medium to medium high is fucking hot. Okay, but what you really have got to do first is make sure your stove works, okay? If you if you don't know how to make sure your stove works, the best thing to do is turn that little knob you got and um, let it sit for like five minutes and then touch it. And you'll know, you'll know if it's good. If it's hot, it's fucking working. If it's not, Use a different burner or buy another stove. Okay, so we've got our pan on our fucking stove. Step number two, cutscene. Step number two is, um, to get some chicken, I, I use thin sliced. Thin sliced doesn't have to be organic. This is just some hippie bullshit that they're the only brand that had thin sliced because I like thin sliced. So, so get you some chicken. It can be chicken strips, whatever. And open up the package, okay, with a fucking something sharp, okay? Or you could be barbaric and just fucking, fuck, fuck it. Just open it up, okay? All right, step three. Okay, now what you wanna do is you wanna wash off your chicken. I don't care if you got it today. I don't care if you got it four months ago. If you got it four months ago and it's not in the freezer, then why the fuck do you still have it? You should have thrown it away when it was fucking green like three months ago. But anyway, if your chicken's expired by like a week or even two, just fucking rinse it off. Let me tell you something. When you go and you go out to eat, okay? When you go out to Luby's or you go out to fucking little Los Cucos, you go to your little Mexican places, or you fucking go to any little taco shop, anywhere you go, if that chicken, and we all know how to tell a chicken's bad, if that chicken stinks, it's bad, right? Okay, well if that chicken stinks in a fucking commercial restaurant, you wanna know what happens? Right here. Rinse it off and guess what, it doesn't fucking stink anymore and you're gonna eat it. I promise you. I hope I didn't just like lay off some big secret to the rest of the fucking world about how shit works in the food industry, but that's how it works, I've done it, okay? All right, now I'm food, serve safe, foods, health, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I have a certification. I know the implications that this can do, that it can cause, all right? The chicken is so damn expensive I'm not gonna waste it, and you know what? Your cheap commercial restaurant sure as hell isn't gonna make it. Neither is your fucking taco shop. Okay, now what you really want to do is you want to let them uh, beforehand. You want to let them like marinate, but but this was spur of the moment, so they're not marinating. But get all your fucking chicken, thawed chicken, you know that frozen bullshit. 
half frozen in the middle of stupid shit. And you want to get z Italian, zesty Italian dressing, fat free, not fat free, whatever. I, who cares? You can be hippie, you can fucking eat it because it tastes good, whatever. Okay, and you want to get a bunch of it and just fucking just drip it. I'm out though, unfortunately. I might put ranch on it instead. Don't put ranch on it instead. Anyway, you just want to cover it in there. You want to let it fucking really smother in there like for a couple of hours and just put it in the fridge, but I'm just gonna put it all over it and then, cause I ran out of time. All right, step like fucking six or something. Now once you've got all your Italian dressing on here, it's all smothered in there and stuff, then you're gonna do step seven and you're gonna stick it in your pot, your pan, it's, it's probably pretty hot. Your body has an internal regulator and if you touch shit and it's hotter than hell, then you can put chicken on it and cook it. So. I'm not gonna show you, but I touched it and it's hotter than hell. So I'm gonna put the chicken on it, and this is what you do. All right, this is step seven. All right, after you spray it with pan, don't be a dumbass or put olive oil or something on it. Don't be a dumbass. All right, now, what you wanna do is you wanna get your chicken, right? You wanna get your chicken, smack it right there. Now, once that's on there, you can do a little Trent recipe, a little secret sauce. Don't put secret sauce, a little Trent's secret. And open up some onion powder, okay, made by Psst crackers, and just dab this shit on. Just put enough, and then for the love of, of, of all that is good, put something on top of this chicken that says garlic in the name. I don't care if it says garlic dog piss. Whatever you've got that says garlic on it, I don't care if it's a whole fucking garlic clove. Put it on that motherfucker, okay? So, right here. Garlic salt. Going on top. Simple as that. Now that's going to be on there till for like maybe five minutes, six minutes, something like that. I'm not going to teach you guys how to fucking cook chicken. That's not the point of this. If you don't know how to cook chicken, you need to watch another YouTube video. Or grow the fuck up and learn how to cook chicken. Step eight involves you sitting the fuck down in a chair. What you're gonna do is you're gonna check all your text messages and all of your Facebook notifications and go through all um, 20,000 of your emails, okay? And then by the time you're done doing that, your chicken should be done, if not beyond done. It should be cooked all the way through if you really fuck up. Step eight, you're gonna grab some kind of utensil. I'm gonna grab a fork, all right? I'm gonna grab a fork. I'm gonna eat with this fork, too. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Grab a fork and flip the chicken. Okay, now, so after that five, six, 10 minute period we just had, come back and they're undoubtedly done. Okay, it's a thin slice, five minutes. So minor fucking time. You gotta turn that knob off, don't leave it on, okay? You leave this shit on, it burns it all fucking night and you wake up and your house looks like fucking, it damn burned down, okay? I promise you, it's happened three times to me. Anyway, shit's done. And wanna know how you know it's done? When it looks like fucking, got fucking Kroger toes, right? When your chicken looks like Kroger toes, it's done. Also, one thing I'd like to point out, one more thing. I put something on this stove and the burner was hot. Do not do that. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but something is fucked up because I did that. Step 10. This is where the interesting part comes in and makes it different than anything you've ever tried. What you want to do is you want to grab, I'm going to say two pieces of Swiss cheese. One. Two. You can get more than two, however you want. Swiss cheese is Swiss cheese. Um, if you like it a lot, you can add some more, or you got thicker pieces, one big piece will do, whatever. But I say two pieces because this is what we're doing here. Now you're gonna grab your bread. Two, four. I've got a lot of chicken to cook. I'm cooking like maybe 10 ounces of chicken. I'm eating 10 ounces of chicken right now, about, roughly. So, or you want a half it, you can put, you know, two slices of bread, whatever. Either way, you're gonna get like a sandwich, okay? You're gonna lay that shit out like a fucking 
sandwich, okay? Like you're about to just, you know, put some spread on it, okay? So you're gonna spread this cheese right there. On one, go to the other one, spread that cheese, okay? Then you're gonna stack it. You're gonna sandwich it, just same like a fucking sandwich, okay? You're gonna put them together, all right? Step 11. Put that shit in the microwave. On a plate, back up, on a plate. We got here. Let's do it maybe um, 20 seconds. So what we've got here so far, is we've got cooked chicken, we've got four pieces of bread, and we've got one piece of Swiss cheese in between each bread, okay? Can I see where this is going? Because you're probably right. You probably figured it out at the very beginning, okay? But then you're gonna warm it up. And then once that bread, that cheese is melted inside that bread, you're gonna take that shit out. Here we go. Now that you got that shit out, you're gonna lay down your cutting board. You're gonna lay down your bread. Lay down your other bread. You are going to grab a suitable knife, okay? Now if you really wanna fucking be tricky, you can get a pair of fucking scissors, which I would demonstrate with using scissors. Cause that is the funniest shit I could think of right now. So you're gonna have your bread right here with the melted cheese in it, right? You're gonna get your fucking scissors and you're gonna cut that shit in slices, okay? You're gonna do this all the way until you're done with all of it, okay? I'll zoom past this real quick. All right, now once you get done cutting them all in long lines like that, all right, what you want to do is you want to cut them sideways the other way. Basically, they're going to come out in squares, okay? Little bite-sized pieces. All okay, so now that we've got our cut-up pieces of chicken, I mean, our cut-up pieces of bread, all right? Literally, all right? Cut up squares. We all got this shit, right? Those squares. Oh shit, shit. All right, with cheese melted inside. Don't tell me you fucking forgot the cheese. You can't fucking forget the cheese. It's like the whole purpose of this. What you wanna do is you wanna grab a big ass bowl, okay? One that fits over your head, okay? A big ass fucking bowl. You wanna dump it in. Make sure you get your fucking razor blade and you make sure that you don't leave any resin behind. Because the resin's the best part, okay? Don't leave any resin behind, and then you're gonna grab your fucking chicken. Okay, your burnt, remember your Kroger toe chicken? You're gonna grab it. Now, once you have your desired amount of chicken selected, mine is gonna be the whole thing. It's about, it was like 11 and 3 eighths ounces. Okay, you're gonna cut it all up. Once again, if you wanna fucking use scissors, man, use scissors and scissor hands. Well, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm not using scissors on chicken though, but you can. Once all your chicken is cut up and all your bread is cut up, you're gonna take that chicken just like you did that fucking bread and that bread resin. You're gonna shove it inside this fucking bowl. Boom, lick it, feed it to the dogs, whatever you wanna fucking do, but this tastes like shit, I promise you. You're gonna take some four, it's not even four cheese, it's only two cheeses. It's just gonna take some motherfucking cheese, man. It's cheese, it doesn't matter, it's fucking cheese. Put more cheese on top of it, all right? Take it and dump it in the bowl. So once you put about as much as your fat ass can eat inside this bowl, I'm putting it back in the microwave. For those of you that don't know, that means that your shit is fucking done. So get it now, out. Now the absolute, the absolute best way to enjoy this meal is to have at least a brand new bottle of ketchup. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take that ketchup and you wanna fucking just put a little bit, just put a little bit. Remember, just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? Not too much, you know, not not enough, but like I said, make sure you have a whole bottle of ketchup, okay? After you do that, um, you stick your fork in it and you spin it around. 
multi entendre, and now I can do what I wanna. Shout out Shatandra and Shonda, shutting up, Shonda light on me.